Hey, MS Talkers, it is March. Do you know what that means? <laughs> it is Women's History Month, Irish American Heritage Month, and Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. <laughs> Walk MS is this month, and I am so excited. <laughs> Woo, that took my breath. <laughs> As you can tell, March is a wonderful month because we celebrate so many different things. Um, and things that are important to me, um, it's Women's History Month, and I'm a woman. <laughs> it's Irish American History Month, and according to Ancestry.com, I'm 9% uh, Irish. Hey, Irish fam, how y'all doing? <laughs> and, uh, of course, I have multiple sclerosis, and this is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month! <laughs> Okay, so since this is a multiple sclerosis um, channel and I'm trying to teach you all more about multiple sclerosis, we're going to focus more on the multiple sclerosis side of things this month, although I will try to highlight different Irish Americans and women during this month as well. But uh, to start off, I have to tell you about who discovered and who really gave a name to multiple sclerosis, and that was a French neurologist named Jean-Martin Charcot. Now, I'm only 2% French, according to Ancestry.com. <laughs> only 2%. So if I mispronounce that, uh, please forgive me uh, to all my French uh, YouTube subscribers. Please forgive me. But I think it's, his name is pronounced Jean-Martin Chacot. Uh, and he was... Um, and he was the person that actually put a name to the face of multiple sclerosis in 1868. <sighs> okay. Well, now we're getting to the part where I uh, really don't really want to talk about it. But <laughs> Alex is leaving Grey's Anatomy tonight. And I'm very sad about it because I'm looking at this from the perspective of a teacher. Because even though Bailey is a, um, a surgeon, he, she also was a teacher to those original interns. And Alex was one of those interns. And he has grown up so much. Like... Okay, I'm a certified teacher, and teachers um, who are listening, you all know that sometimes we have those kids who will try us. <laughs> like, they're trying their best to look like they're cool and do all these other things, but they're really covering up, like, their inner insecurities, and um, they're trying to make friends. But we as teachers, we know that they have the capability to do so much more. And if we can work with them and just pull that greatness out of them, then they, and we can help to recognize that, help them to recognize that they are worthy of that great greatness and they are capable of that greatness. And I am so proud of Alex. And sorry, I'm getting teary eyed because I'm also thinking about some of my former students who did the same thing, <laughs> who acted the same way. But by by the end of the journey they all have all grown up so much Alex has grown up so much he is now the medical director of Pac North Hospital like he did that on his own he has gotten over his commitment issues he's married to Joe um, he um, was able to um, fight his battles with his mother and father and he just he's just grown up so much however <sighs> Alice is just a character. <laughs> Justin Chambers, that, the actor that plays Alex, is a real person. And he's 50. And by the way, Justin, you looking good for 50. But, <laughs> but he's 50. And I remember first when, um, when Grey's Anatomy started and I saw a picture of him and his five kids on Oprah. Um, but I remember that. And, um, and now I know he's of retirement age. He can, uh, I, I'm guessing that his five kids have graduated from college by now. And now he has time to do things for himself and creatively as an, as an actor. I know that you probably want to grow up and do more outside of Grey's Anatomy. And <sighs> Justin, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> and I understand why you, um, as an actor, I understand why you have to go. I'm going to miss your character though, but I understand and I just want to tell you that I wish you joy for your journey. And on that note, we're going to move on to our scripture for the day. Some of you all may be, fam be familiar with this scripture because of the Beatles. But we're going to look at Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. 
There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to shirt, search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Now, personally, on my end of things, um, this is a crazy time for me because normally I am on point with my professional side, but I was kind of feeling bad because <laughs> I'm not really doing as many things professionally. But one of my friends called me and she was like, Ashley, you are doing so much stuff with that YouTube channel. You are doing more things with your acting and you're just doing so many, many wonderful things and like this season means something for you. And so, like, Justin Chambers had to leave Grey's Anatomy. Now was his season to leave. Now is my season to kind of grow creatively and to rest. Um, because I, I really need to rest during this season so that I can grow and become more of the woman that God would have me to um, be. However, I am still being very productive during this season. I have done, um, I have taken classes, and I will tell you all more about those. And I have just done things that help me to grow and just to re-nourish. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a picture of two flowers. The first flower is the one I told you about on Valentine's Day. It has completely bloomed. It has four different blooms, and it's absolutely beautiful and amazing. However, I'm going to show you a picture of another flower. That flower is the one that I gave mom for Valentine's Day. And it was a beautiful tulip. It was red and wonderful. But all the blooms have fallen off. And I told mom, I was like, mom, if I had known that these blooms were going to fall off, I wouldn't have given it to you. But she was like, no, Ashley, I just need to move it to a different environment. She's going to plant it outside. And she's like, and then the blooms will come back next season. Now, sometimes for people with MS like myself and really for healthy people, we need to move on and grow in a different environment for a different season. And I know during this season in life, I am resting, but I'm also reaching into my creative self and I'm having so much fun. I am so happy and, uh, and it's just amazing for me. And I'm thankful to God that he brought me to this season. And, I'm, and even though I'm going to miss Justin Chambers <laughs> on Grey's Anatomy, even though I'm going to miss him. I am so happy for him to be able to move into a different season. He has become, he has been a great father for his kids, and now that he can grow more as an actor. And Justin, once again, I am wish, wishing you the very best. Now, MS Talkers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 20 subscribers, and I'm trying to get to 25. I know that's not a lot, but, you know, we have small goals at first, and then larger goals later come. <laughs> also, don't forget to share with your friends and like, and also comment. Comment. I have MS trivia for you. Multiple sclerosis also means multiple scars. Multiple scars. So why do you think that is? Write it down in the comments. See you all later next week. I love you. Bye, MS Talkers.